700 is it gonna there we go 700 oh the baby was here for the 700th performance March 12th, it is Sunday. We are in Costa Mesa. Um, it is a two show day. We have a 1 p.m. matinee and a 6.30 p.m. evening show. Um, and we had daylight savings, which means that we lost an hour last night. So really it's a 12 p.m. It's a noon show. I think I got enough sleep. We'll find out. Um, I just thought I would take you along for this two show day. I have woken up, um, I've lit my candles, I have my kettle boiling, I am about to take my meds. If you have meds that you're supposed to be taking every day, take them. I'm gonna brew tea so that it is good and ready by the time I come back up. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym in my hotel. Really lucked out at the hotel I chose for this city. It has a little kitchenette, which means I have a full-size fridge. I have a, I have like a hot plate stove top. I have a dishwasher, praise God. Light of my life fire of my loins, Celsius. If you ever see this, please know. You are everything to me. So, I'm gonna go down to the gym. I'm gonna take my meds. Um, it is 9.50, so I'm gonna get all that done. I wanna be in the gym by 10 at the latest. Um, because then I have to run up and rinse myself off and then go to PT. I have the earliest PT slot every Sunday with our physical therapist, Maeve. And she's gonna get my body right for a two-show day. We had two shows last last night, yesterday. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of this ice because um, I, it was an emotional day for me yesterday. It was hard, but we are here. Um, everything will be okay, but I'm gonna roll my face with some ice <laughs> because it was an emotional day yesterday for me, and this is how uh, I take care of my puffy eyeballs. It wakes me up. <laughs> it feels really nice. Oh, yeah. So that's me. I'm gonna make my little protein matcha concoction. I'm gonna go down to the gym. There are no rules. Stunning. <laughs> okay, we see some sweat, gym is done. So I got home with enough time to steam for a little bit before we go to the theater, um, which is great. We've managed to fit it all in, <laughs> in one morning. Um, I get asked all the time what this steamer is. Um, it's either called the Viridian or the Mabus steamer. I'll put the info below. It's cheap. I've been using this version of a steamer off and on since like 2013. Works a treat. You just need purified water. You don't need anything special. They never break. <laughs> it's a dream. 
on my steam for a little bit. To be honest, I think a two show day um, can sometimes be monotonous and boring. And I don't say that to, in a bad way. It just really is about routine. And I think the thing that was explained really well to me when I was playing Alphaba about big jobs like this that require a lot of your time, a lot of your attention, is that it's about fatigue management and how you're managing your fatigue. So it's really about getting enough sleep, taking your medication if you have medication to take, drink a lot of water, take care of your body. It can seem really daunting to make all of those things happen. Um, you know, when you have anxiety or neurodivergency, you know, or brain fog or anything, any anything at all that can make getting your ducks in a row difficult, it can be really hard to be constantly setting yourself up for success. And sometimes it doesn't happen and that's okay. But, ah, ugh. Um, when it does happen, it's a real treat. <laughs> okay, so I, of course, left my camera in my hotel room, um, but I cannot go back to get it because I absolutely must go to PT. I have PT in 15 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes to get to the theater, park, blah, 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 get in there. Um, but luckily, I have to come back and get Morgan. Uh, Morgan is our Karen Smith, and Morgan and I, I think, are the only two cast members in the, the hotel that, um, one of the hotel options that we had for this uh, stay in Costa Mesa. So I will come get back and get Morgan uh, when it's time, and I'll get my camera then. I'm just slowly waking my voice up with this straw that um, Ovu, Uvu, Uvu, um, but they very kindly gifted me this a couple years ago um, and it has not left my side. It's a super easy way to wake your voice up on the go. There's a Mean Girls poster on that bus stop. That's awesome. I, it's my first tour, but I have been on tour for nearly a year now. Um, and I have learned quite a lot. Although I will say it has flown by, absolutely flown by. I cannot believe it. We are done at the end of the first week of May. We close. Wild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are here. Let's go. Okay, PT is done. Normally, normally I would just stay at the theater, but Morgan is still at our hotel. So I will, <laughs> look at her, I will get her. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hello. We are here. It is a two show day. Let's turn into Janice. Let's do it. Um, so usually while I'm doing prep, I'll do some straw warm ups. Well, come in. Um, Hiya. Hello. How are you doing? Two itty bitties for you. Yes. Um, and someone gets hurt, reprise. But here's what you don't comprehend. I think after the thing last week, now it's changed. So, but that's what you don't comprehend. I thought it was. That's what you don't comprehend. No. Uh, but here's what you don't comprehend. Yes. So. You were doing. I had changed it to. Can't. Here's what you can't comprehend. Yes. It's here's what you don't comprehend. Yes. It is here's what you don't comprehend. Yes. By the end of this tour, I'm gonna get my no, lyrics no, no, right. No, all good, all good. <laughs> I um, love you for that. I would never have known. 
we like fixed one thing and always something. it's always that it's like going to the chiropractor you get one thing adjusted and the rest of it's coming out um, here's what you don't comprehend yeah and then in rather be me um i think cut the little uh flip turn things um uh, I'd rather be me. Oh I'd yes, uh, my voice. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's okay. me just surviving. But yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, do what you can. Just yes, hundred percent. Um, sometimes on uh, insulting my IQ. Insulting my IQ. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just thank you. Straightforward. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, Happy Sunday. <laughs> We're doing it. That was Chris Kong. <laughs> um, Chris Kong is our music director. And we we get decent, like every every couple of weeks, we'll get some notes um, just about, you know, the show will settle and then sort of settle into a place that's fine, but maybe not necessarily the show and what the show is supposed to be. So we get notes and we adjust and we bring it all back. Bring it back home. Peanut butter pretzel nuggets are one of my favorite snacks in life, but also for show because they just check off every box. Okay, with prep is done. They're about to go half hour. I don't know if you can hear that. I think my speaker's turned down low, but we just got a half hour call. Let's do some makeup. Now for Janice, the makeup is pretty much the same every day. Sometimes I feel a little spicy and I'll change it up. Most of the time it's just like a good base, some concealer, maybe an eyebrow. Um, a little bit of blush and you know smudgy eyeliner and the dark lipstick it's not um, it's nothing too serious the more lived in the better um, something that I really enjoyed about this job is uh, tea sorry something I really enjoy about this job is that I get ready myself um, Something that I really loved about my last job was that I didn't get ready. Um, I would sit and the green team would get me ready. I would get painted green, I would get my pin curls done for me. Um, so I would just kind of sit and warm up and like wait to transform essentially and just kind of let that be the meditative experience into Alphaba. But here, cheers, here at Mean Girls, I get ready myself which is a process that I really, really love. Um, I find it really meditative. I find it, it's almost kind of like self-care in a way to pin your hair up, do your makeup, um, you know, prepare for the show the way that you want to. It's, I, both jobs were the best at both worlds, basically. Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we are gonna be drinking a lot of tea today. This is a big tea day. I can feel it. Speaking of, so that I give you a little look at, we've got a little snack thing here. I always have soup on hand because it's just so easy. We've got liquid IV, we've got a little protein cookie, PG tips, duh. Ooh, I might, no, I'm already having too much caffeine. Um, oatmeal, easy, delicious. We got some um, sugar free candy, jerky, pretzel cashews and we have a kettle which I'm going to turn on to prep more tea. Wig is on. I was going to film getting this wig on but you know you kind of ask for permission and if they don't want to be filmed they don't want to be filmed so I'm not going to film them. You know what I mean? So now the wig is on. We are almost done becoming Janice. We keep putting on this face and keep drinking our caffeine like a good little girl. <laughs> I find that if I wear two types of mascara and do good generous coats, I do not 
have to wear false eyelashes. Sometimes I like to put on a false eyelash if I'm feeling real spicy, but I find them to be a little cumbersome sometimes and if I'm really sweaty or feeling emotional or you know anything at all they'll just start to fall off and then you gotta reapply and it becomes a whole thing and like who cares but every once in a while I do a false eyelash and it is a real treat because it does a lot of the work for you but yeah okay now we're at five minutes which is around the time when I, I start putting everything else on. So that'll be my tights, my um, fishnet bodysuit, and um, my shorts, and all the other fun things. My jewelry. So let's do that. All right, so all undergarments in this um, production thong bra, these are provided making sure that the undergarments maintain um, the look. You know, you don't want to be wearing a specific type of underwear that then causes your costume to not look quite right. And also, it just means that there is a state of uniformity to everyone. So every Janice has a form of a sports bra, a thong, and these tights. So your undergarments are very much a part of the costume, just as much as the fun stuff on the outside is. Turn it this way. So you can see we have all of the costumes that I put on in here hung up. So I'm now put on my bodysuit. Whoop, whoop. And this is the time where I put on my handy dandy Old Spice Captain. <laughs> so. Bodysuit, underwear on, studded shorts on, bam, 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 bam. Storm Ritter Janice tank top on. I like to tuck the top in here so that it doesn't move around a bunch when I'm doing where do you belong the Janice jacket. This was originally Mary Kate Morrissey's jacket. Shout out to the queen of Janice's MK. And now I have inherited it. So now we have all of this. The last being my Doc Martens. I have roses on mine. So now that we are dressed. Yeah. I'm gonna do my lipstick. I'm gonna turn my speaker up. Hold on. Places. Throw this lip on real quick. We got some lip liner on. Does not need to be perfect. It's a beautiful thing about Janice. Lipstick. Bam, ba, ba, bam. Done. The last touch is earrings, rings. Let's go to places. You know how in theater, um, some people have like traditions or superstitions. I have this weird one where I don't tie my shoes until I'm at my places spot. It just became a thing. And now I always don't tie my shoes until I get to places. Backstage, backstage. Howdy, howdy. We're vlogging, how you doing? Heck yeah, we are, good morning. <laughs> good morning, living good morning, daylight savings. Morning, daylight. Living on a prayer, truly. Living on a fucking prayer. Now this, this is the quick change gondola. This means we've got multiple setups for multiple characters, this is mine. And this is where I come and I change between pretty much every scene. This is, this is the, my book. This is where I keep my stash of lifelines, which I'm gonna take some. And then we're gonna do the show. Yay! We're gonna do the show. It's gonna be great. Um, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to places. I will see you in a bit. It's time for snacks. Intermission. Intermission. That means it's time for snacks. I'm hungry. I want peanut butter pretzels. So, at intermission, I will get out of my fearless costume that I wear at the end of Act One. I get out of the socks the tights, the shorts, all of it. And I put on my act two tights. And then I will wait to put on the rest of my costume because I like to cool down. And then we have our tea, our peanut butter pretzels. Sometime during intermission, Hoops, our hair supervisor will come in and fix my wig. But I'm not gonna film that because she does not want to be on camera today. So I'm gonna turn it off. Did we get places? Uh, I don't. I heard five, but I. I heard five. I'm not sure about places. Yeah. I don't think, so I don't think so either. Act two. Switch out my little earrings. I wear these uh, sometimes in act two, and. Jasmine, when Jasmine's on as Gretchen, she has these earrings as well. And when she wears them, I sometimes think that maybe these were given, like, this is in my head, this is not canon, that these were a gift from Regina to her best friend. And Janice used to be Regina's best friend. So I have a pair and Jasmine has a pair. Probably just like a funny little whatever from from wardrobe, but I think it gives me like a cool little backstory. All right, pluses, pluses, please for Act Two. Okay, this is my longest break in the show. I get changed into my "Some Gets Hurt" reprise slash jazzy costume upstairs in the quick change gondola, and then I bring myself back down. And I am gonna have some more tea. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna have some more tea. And um, I've put my little shorts on so I don't flash anybody during I'd Rather Be Me, which has happened before because I forgot to put them on. I'm actually gonna take this jacket off for now because it is piping hot in this theater. It is not only warm, it is humid, which is amazing for the voice. Little rough <laughs> to be performing in. My camera died <laughs> and my uh, my extra battery is in my hotel room so i'll have to switch those out when we go between shows but this is the longest break that i have so i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna drink some tea they are about to start whose house i gotta go get on a jazzy i gotta go get on a jazzy Ugh, it's so sweaty everything is so sweaty <sighs> I will not come back downstairs until after um, I'd rather be me. 
Now I'll come get into spring fling. <laughs> okay, I'd rather be me as done. We have our spring fling wig on, tucked up. And now we get into spring fling. This is the final, the final look for Janice. So we've got our little like Frankie says relax 80s glamour <laughs> happening. We've got to look nice and distinguished. Cummerbund? Cumberbund? Cumberbund? Who's to say? I don't know. Someone does. A jacket. And then the last thing is we have to change the shoes. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my God. Okay, so for all of act two, I wear these again, right? <laughs> Wardrobe, if you see this, no, you didn't. I'm so sorry. So I have a pair of Doc Martens that I came in wearing today. Very similar style, very similar feel. I was wearing my own shoes. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. I've never done that before. Oh my God, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay, no. Well, I wore my own shoes on accident. <laughs> God, how embarrassing. Multiple scenes. I wear them for the entire act until spring fling. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, no. Okay, and then I take this pin out. And we've got the Janice Inches. Um, I've named this wig Chez because we called her Inches and I couldn't figure out another name for her. So Inches, Chez, Inches, her name is Chez. I wish my hair was this long. It used to be this long. I can only wish. Um, time to go to Spring Fling. Time to go to Spring Fling. Let's do it. Okay, first show of the day. Done. Hello, come in. Come on in. Oh, I am dripping. Oh. Did you notice at all during Act Two that I was wearing my um, own shoes, not my red? No, I did. Baby, I was. I feel like Cameron Diaz in the mask, but like not as sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Wait, you know what? I'm feeling like doing two. Yeah. Let's do it again. In a couple hours. <laughs> Have a good dinner break. Thank you. So once we are done with the show, we will take off all of our costumes and our undergarments. And our undergarments go in what is known as a ditty bag. And these will get laundered and we'll get another fresh set tonight for the second show. So just put that for laundry. Put it in there. Bam. Done. And then I'm going to go turn in my microphone. Gonna very carefully wrap this up. Bam, 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 bam. Turn it. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let, let rock, let rock today. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Just in case. Oh. I got you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes. Look, Caleb is a chef, honey. This is beautiful. I'm not Irish. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> this was the closest I could get. <laughs> this is a cute woman. This is a cute woman. She's got a cute outfit on because she's a cute woman. <laughs> I was already so full and then I just ate a piece of cake and it was worth it. It was so good. So we always do birthday club um, if someone has a birthday and they want to be celebrated. Um, we'll do birthday club 
and whoever's birthday happened before the birthday person's birthday they'll get a cake get a treat set it up um and then that person will do it for the next person and so on and so forth and today it's ian's so he's our pretty pretty princess <laughs> We're really lucky with this company. Um, and I uh, got something sent to me um, <laughs> at stage door. This was left for me um, from someone named Ashlyn. So Ashlyn, if you're watching this, thank you for this. It's, it's a Janice drawing and then a Janice book cover or a book mark. And then it says, I love Lindsay on the back. <laughs> Janice, I'm a space with four butts, that's tits. My apologies to myself and now and that's how regina george died because you're raving this is janice flipping the bird <laughs> thank you ashlyn this is so great you dirty little liar <laughs> i saw you in wicked in april and have loved you ever since i've been waiting to see you as janice for so long keep doing what you're doing you're an inspiration to me and so many others you're amazing love amazing amazing love ashlyn <laughs> I'm so I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I'm lucky every day and I'm so grateful. Thank you for these. These are gonna go up where I put all the other good things. I put all my good and pretty things up here so that I can look at them every day. So these are up with all my other good and pretty things. And I gather all of my good and pretty things over periods of time. And then when I'm too full up, I send them home so that I can decorate my home with them later. And I repeat all over again. Okay, we are almost at our 15 minute call, which means I need to get my brassiere on. And um, I don't have, ah, there it is. And my microphone. Gorgeous. 15. Anchor it down. There we go. That's what we want. Perfect. 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 Let's go get our wig. Okay, we are 10 minutes to places, so I'm just going to quickly touch up some of this makeup. Now the lucky thing about Janice is the makeup pot doesn't change throughout the show. So I don't have to, like um, the adult woman or some of the, from some of the ensemble members, they have to change their lipsticks and um, I know the adult woman does as well. I don't have to change anything. Whereas in my last job, um, the Elphaba makeup plot changes from act one to act two. You get some contour, you get a cut crease, you get all this like, really hot, fun stuff. That being said, I mean, you don't keep the makeup on between. I think some people have, but it's always suggested that you wash off and start again. So the beautiful thing is that I can do um, one show's worth of makeup and not change it all day if I don't want to. I tend to, um, maybe add or take away in the second show, just depending on how everything settles. Company, this is your five minute call. Five minutes until the top of show. Five minutes, five minutes. That feels like a violent act. <laughs> that feels violent. Today, it's just a little more eyeliner. This settled nicely. A little more eyeliner. Yep. Maybe a little more up here. Maybe a little more up here. Maybe a little smudgy smudge. We'll just smudgy smudge. Smudgy smudge. Smudgy smudge. Smudgy smudge. Add the lip. The sounds of backstage on a two show day.
my costume on and put some a new coat of deodorant for act one. <laughs> I am full of tuna melt and cha vanilla cake with chocolate frosting. <laughs> okay, give me, give me like, give me 30 seconds. 30 freaking seconds. Take this off. Bam. Bam. It's gonna be a burpee, Janice. That's just the way it's gonna be today. Burpee. Just try to come on. Burpee, Janice. What thing? I heard. A, I heard. A, my thing came on and it sounded like someone was trying to talk. Like your radio? Or your? Yeah. Did, you, did yours come on? Uh uh. I'll tie my shoes upstairs. Show. Yes. Hello. Chef's kiss. Did you see Did you see what um, I did? I told Katie to do. No, she you know? <laughs> when we're supposed to be like, oh yeah, like, wait, you know, I didn't see it. I, I went. <laughs> He's vibing, 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 vibe, vibes, vibes, yes, 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 Okay, you ready? The married man. It's about a guy that was married. Is is gay, right? He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. This is also this is actually also very gay. Oh, look at us. Yeah. Oh. The married man in the lonely city. <laughs> it's a story what? that writes itself. <laughs> the adventures in the art of being alone with the married, the married man. man. <laughs> Show of the week. I can't tell if it's the cake. We've had a lot of cake this week. We had the 700th show cake yesterday. And then we had birthday cake today. And I always, always have a feeling that when we have cake or donuts or anything, we're a lot happier. Hello, miss. Hi, missus. How, How are, are you doing? You doing? There's nothing like a good cup of tea. I'm sorry, there isn't. And I personally love throw coat. I think it's really sweet on its own. This has been the most fun show so far because <laughs> everyone's just feeling silly and goofy. <laughs> 
It's the eighth show of the week. We've done eight shows. Truly the most fun. It's been a really heavy um, week in some moments just because there's been a lot. Like I said a, a little bit ago, a lot has happened um, in my personal life and my friends' personal lives. Um, but today, as, as much as I was feeling that yesterday, um, today I have the privilege of being here and being preoccupied with the call of duty, which is to bring theater to these paid audiences. Um, and always in being separated from myself and being in a, in a mental state of servitude and joy really helps put things in perspective. And I think I've talked about that before on here. I just really believe in it. And I'm really grateful to be here. And I'm grateful to be sharing this space with all of these amazing people. Grace, you sounded real good today. Really? Thanks. You want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it's Grace Romanella. Hi! Grace. She's, she's at Gretchen Fit today and yesterday. But today yeah? and yesterday. Mm -hmm. The four weekend shows. What's this for? Just YouTube vlog. Like, YouTube vlog? Yeah. Hi, YouTube vlog. Oh, you sound great. Thanks. Real good. Oh my god. What's wrong with me was so. Eric and I were watching it and we were like, oh. She's so good. Such like this jazzy tone that Thank like you. I love you bring jazz. to everything. I love jazz. Thank it's you. the. It means you do it in this one spot where. Um, to my master, you do. I can't even do the spin that you do, but it's like this, like jazzy oh, master. Mm. You do this like spin that gives me. It gives me. I think me, it's because like, I open er a little er, bit more. It gives so me like Rosemary Clooney energy, <gasps> like like Rosemary Clooney spin. And every time you're on and you're doing that part, I'm like. <laughs> that just made me I just Thank love you. it's I love when voices have like those special little things that like oh, it's so specific sweet. to their voice. You sound real good. You're you so always sound sweet. good. Thank you. I would give you a hug, but I'm so disgustingly I'm sweaty. So also, I'm well, give you... yeah, because you were doing fearless wow. and I was standing. But now I'm also in this robe that like doesn't have air. I, I did that in the first show where I was like, I don't want this on my back. And then I put my robe on. And when I took my robe off in that blue robe, you can see the spots yep. of sweat. And I was like, I'm like, where's the air conditioner? The thing I love the most about this Eggerstrom so far is that it's huge. We have so much space here. And for those Wicked fans, um, Talia was here. My friend Talia, who just finished her amazing fucking historical run as Elphaba on tour and then on Broadway after I left. Um, best experience ever to share two weeks in the Gershwin with one of your best friends. <laughs> blessed. Literally so blessed in this life. Um, but uh, she was here, and uh, I used to actually live in Orange County for a little while, um, right before the pandemic, before I moved to New York, and then uh, during most of the pandemic, I lived here in Orange County, so it really does feel like being home in a way. Not quite the way that LA did, but I don't feel lost. Um, Company is your five-minute call, five minutes till I'm two. Oh. Five minutes. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, having the time of my life. Um, I'm gonna go check in with Morgan really quick because I want to know if she wants to go to in and out after the show. <laughs> Morgan? <No>. Morgan? <laughs> Can I show you? Yeah. <laughs> this is why I love this woman. <laughs> you are so hot. Like literally, this is this is this is gay rights. <laughs> like the woman is in full skivvies with her with those. Are those the salt, the oh, vinegar salt? So good. I was gonna ask, do you want to go to I'm in, out. in and out for Ian's mm -hmm. after the show? Mm -hmm. Right. In and out, in and out, in and out after the show. I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna get a milkshake. I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna get a milkshake for sure, and probably fries too. I'm really not hungry. There's there's absolutely no way. Cut to me ordering a double double with fries and a Neapolitan. <laughs> also, this is proof that I'm not wearing my own shoes for all of Act Two again, like I did this morning. God, God I can't believe myself. Act Two, Act Two. A five, six, Go. seven. <laughs> you calling cues? Thanks, babe. We are in Jazzy. Wow. We just confirmed our final flights from Fort Lauderdale to New York. May 8th. 
I can't believe how fast this has flown by. We're in the middle of March right now. And after next week, we'll go from Costa Mesa. We have one more week here. And then we'll be in Vegas. And then we'll be in Tucson. And then we have a layoff. And then four weeks left. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Time really does fly. It feels like only a few months ago that I was in New York. Um, but it's been almost an entire year. That's really wild. Um, I feel like I just joined here. That's really wild. I'm really lucky. I'm so grateful. And I am I'm gonna do my best to remember that even when times are hard. I'm gonna go sing Someone Gets Heart Reprise. <laughs> Time to go to Spring Fling. Last Spring Fling of the week. Eighth Spring Fling of the week. Bye. That's a 7.30 show on Tuesday. Come on in. Where is it? Oh my god. I'm so sweaty. I'm sure yours is too. Yeah. I literally just... I was I was going to pick up my lip gloss and for no reason at all I literally picked up the little thing that my corsage goes in for spring fling and I literally picked it up and Lisa was my dressing was like where are you going you you going somewhere with your corsage and I was like oh I I thought I would present it to you formally <laughs> would you go to prom with me <laughs> she just looked at me she was like <laughs> where are you going with that are you I, taking that somewhere that was the first thing that popped into my head. I said, oh, I, I, just, I thought I presented, presented to you formally. formally. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. It's like the Amazon here. So who said that yesterday? I think it was Wesley came up to me. He was like, what? He was like, if anybody wanted to know what it was like to work in the Amazon, I could tell you right now. <laughs> I was like, you're right. Well, have a great day off. Thank you, you too. Thank I hope you, you have rest and do something fun. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. Amen, sister. This is the end of a two show day. Me too. Oh do I have any left? Don't think I do. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day off tomorrow. Hey. Can turn these off. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Girl, I can't. <laughs> Tired. Oh, mm -hmm. this guy's riding me. Oh my. <laughs> Why? Sweet. Man, I didn't have my phone. Let's get it on your phone. Sorry. Phone. <laughs> or on her. Not you in the full. See Mars, Mars. Wish I could be. What? Oh, that's okay. And that was, was like, I'm going to be part of that world. Time. He saw it. Do you know how long he practiced? Oh, absolutely. Well, well, he, to, like, put it he sits in his gondola <laughs> practicing. Oh, yeah. You had to go over to Oh, this one. Wow, that was amazing. I'm so glad I got that on camera. He just did, he just did the Little Mermaid riff. Fully. In the, oh, I got it on camera. <laughs> It's yes. Sky and his his little spaceship. <laughs> Bye, Sky. See you later. You're looking good. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Slay, slay, slay. Regina for two shows. Slay. She said, "I'm coming into." <laughs> Happy birthday! It's a birthday. Everybody's rolling out for the birthday. birthday. Everyone's rolling out for the birthday. Look at this baby boy. This birthday hey, boy. Hey, welcome to In and Out. Can I take your order? <laughs> Look at these dum dums. <laughs> Look at. <laughs>
Yeah. I said that I wasn't gonna get a whole meal after the show because I wasn't hungry, and then we got here, and I was like, no, I'm, I need it. <laughs> hey, dear Ian. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Just filming for the archives. Oh, hi, Avalon. Hi, Avalon. How you doing, baby? <laughs> Right here is where you film Finally home after a two-show day. It is almost one in the morning. <sighs> what a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm so glad I decided to pick my camera up today. We um we went to In N Out for Ian's birthday, and it was just such a great day of shows. Everyone was in such a really silly, goofy, funny mood, and I feel like I captured a lot of the essence of what it's like to work here. Um, doesn't mean it's sunshine and rainbows all the time. Doesn't mean that work is sometimes really just work, and it can get hard, you know, but it was really great. I'm really lucky, and I'm really grateful to be here. And I'm thankful that past Lindsay worked really hard so that future Lindsay could reap the benefits. <laughs> and I'll continue to put that work in. So now, this is what I do when I get home. I am going to put on a cup of a pot of tea. We know, we know this, we know me by now. A cup of tea, we're gonna start the shower. Um, and I take my showers by candlelight. <laughs> That is something that I started while on tour. Um, it's extremely relaxing. I find that it kind of teaches me to kind of turn everything off. I turn on some music and I scrub it up dub. So that's what I'm gonna do.